These are excerpts from The Parable of the Herbs, Chapter 5 of the Lotus Sutra, the Kosai Weatherhill Edition. The Tathagata is like this. He appears in the world, like the rising of the great cloud. Suppose in the three thousand great thousandfold world there are growing in the mountains, along the rivers, streams, in the valleys and on the land, plants, trees, thickets, forests, and medicinal herbs of various and numerous kinds, with names and colors all different. A dense cloud spreading over and everywhere covering the whole three thousand great thousandfold world pours down its rain equally at the same time. Its moisture universally fertilizes the plants, trees, thickets, forests, and medicinal herbs with their tiny roots, tiny stalks, tiny twigs, tiny leaves, their medium-sized roots, medium stalks, medium twigs, medium leaves, their big roots, big stalks, big twigs, and big leaves. Every tree, big or little, according to its superior middle or lower capacity, receives its share. From the rain of the one cloud, each, according to the nature of its kind, acquires its development, opening its blossoms and bearing its fruit. Though produced in one soil and moistened by the same rain, yet these plants and trees are all different. The Tathagata is also like this. He appears in the world like the rising of that great cloud. Universally, he extends his great call over the world of gods, men, and asuras, just as that great cloud everywhere covers the three thousand great thousandfold region. In the great assembly, he sounds forth these words. I am the Tathagata, the worshipful, the all-wise, the perfectly enlightened in conduct, the well-departed the understander of the world, the peerless leader, the controller, the teacher of gods and men, the Buddha, the world-honored one. Those who have not yet been saved, I cause to be saved. Those who have not yet been set free, to be set free. Those who have not yet been comforted, to be comforted. Those who have not yet obtained nirvana, to obtain nirvana. I know the present world and the world to come as they really are. I am the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the knower of the way, the opener of the way, the preacher of the way. Come to me, all you gods, men, and asuras, to hear the law. Just as that great cloud, raining on all the plants, trees, thickets, forests, and medicinal herbs, and according to the nature of their seed, perfectly fertilizing them, so that each grows and develops, so the law preached by the Tathagata is of one form and flavor, that is to say, deliverance, abandonment, extinction, and finally the attainment of perfect knowledge. If there be living beings who hear the law of the Tathagata and keep, read, recite, and practice it as preached by him, their achievements will not enable them to understand their own nature. Wherefore? Because there is only the Tathagata who knows the seed, the form, the embodiment, the nature of all these living beings, what things they are reflecting over, what things they are thinking, what things practicing, how reflecting, how thinking, how practicing by what laws reflecting, by what laws thinking, by what laws practicing, and by what laws attaining to what laws. There is only the Tathagata who in reality sees, clearly and without hindrance, the stages in which all living beings are, just as those plants, trees, thickets, forests, and medicinal herbs, and others do not know their own natures, superior, middle, and inferior. The Tathagata knows this unitary essential law, that is to say, deliverance, abandonment, extinction, final nirvana of eternal tranquility, ending in return to the void. The Buddha, knowing this and observing the dispositions of all living beings, supports and protects them. For this reason he does not immediately declare to them the complete and perfect wisdom. All of you, a most rare thing it is that you should be able to know the law preached by the Tathagata as he sees fit, and be able to believe and able to receive it. The law of all Buddhas, ever by its essential oneness, 
causes all the worlds universally to gain perfect weal. By numerous reasonings and various parables, I reveal the Buddha way. This is my tactful method. All Buddhists do the same. What I have now said to you all is the various truth. The way in which you walk is the Bodhisattva way. By gradually practicing and learning, all of you will become Buddhas. I rain down the rain of the law, filling the whole world. The one essential law to be practiced according to ability, just as those thickets, forests, herbs, and trees, according to their size, luxuriantly develop. Gradually, by its observance, all attain the way's fruition. <laughs>